Welcome, race fans, to round six of the 2016 Canadian Motocross Championships. This week, it's Motocross Alberton, just south of Drummondville, Quebec, one of the most beautiful places in this gorgeous country. And wait till you see this track. MX2 pilots and staging, qualifying is done, racing is next. Presented by Motovan, this is the 2016 Rockstar Energy Drink Motocross National. Welcome back to Motocross Alberton. Mark Travers and Brian Costa in the booth as we get set for MX2 Moto 1. Pilots coming out onto parade. Fabs, this track here in Alberton is probably one of the most dynamic tracks on the series. The elevation, the dirt, I love it. An absolutely gorgeous setting to race motocross. You can see how steep some of these hills are. Big launchers, step ups and step downs. Keeps the riders on their toes. Good soil, but it is kind of hard underneath in certain corners. And I just love that in the foreground, that little turn up boot or turn down in midair and high speed thrills and spills for the whole family. And as far as sand tracks, this one's a little rockier, Fabs. Let's go back to round five and go for dunes. Drew Roberts with that first MX2 hole shot, but it was Dakota Alex out front early. Dakota Alex, his first race in Canada in 2016. Little Muff does a little soil sample over the handling bars, but it was Cole Tommy Gun Thompson starting dead last after a first oh. turn pileup. Oh. Worked his all the way up to first place. <laughs> the gun was unloading on the rest of the field. Second moto hole shot went to Jerry Medallia. Great to see him back in after that concussion in Nanaimo, and then he had his hands full with with the big boys, but again, Thompson and Moffenbeyer, the two pilots who have been the best in this class all season long. Yeah, tossing Dylan Wright, we got three Canadians rocking the show in MX2, but it was Thompson on top of Little Moff. There is the top three on the day. A pretty darn handsome podium. You got that right. Let's get to our points after five of 10. You know that Thompson's out front with the red plate. Of course, not at right and worth sitting five. With Leith and Keast not riding east, it gives Pettis a great opportunity to move ahead, as well as McCoy Bruff and Riley Gallup, who's been on fire this year. Hey, the Rockstar girls are sampling. MX2 Moto 1 next. Welcome back to round six of the 2016 Rockstar Energy Drink Motocross Nationals B and T in the booth, which we see Riley Gallup getting all pumped up, Babs. Yeah, he's jacked, but. Oh. Uh, Maybe that was just a reaction to the lovely L walking by. I don't know, Travis. Photo one board going by as so we see the lovely rock star Emily getting that 30 board up. This first MX2 moto will be brought to you by RoyalDistributing.com, Canada's power sports leader, as we go to the inside gate pick with the number 164 of Dakota Alex. Yeah, nice spot for him. Five sideways, a big, long uphill drag race in this loose sand. Really sucks the horsepower of these little 250Fs and 252 strokes. Gearing up, Travis, a big Talladega right-hander. We've seen a lot of carnage in this first turn over the years. Look at the young Dylan Wright with that Royal Distributing hole shot. Wright finally gets a Royal Distributing hole shot, but how about the start for the number 18 of Brad Nodded, who got picked up by the Gopher Dunes team. First race on the GDR Honda, on board with the 36 of Daisy Frazier and that Husky Barna. What images from the MotoVan.com camera. Frazier with an awesome start, he was sixth. Quickly displaced by Alex, so in seventh, right behind Jess Pettis. Benito's been having a great season on that MX-101 by teammates with Wright, right out front. But look at the dynamic action here from Frazier. Along with Gallup, Frazier's been one of the fastest two-stroke pilots in the class, so great to see yeah. that. Little Moff on the wide side coming into the Honda corner. This corner is significant, <laughs> and look at Little Moff go on top of Nada to get by for second place. So many fantastic passing opportunities on this track. You just have to wow. find them. Look at Nodic there, bouncing the soft stuff. Tommy Gunn around the outside, eating some roost. Has to take those alternate lines. You get into these breaking zones, and you can really set up the rider, but you have to be aggressive, Travs. And out of that Cowie turn, grabbing gears. Love this part of the wow. track. On the inside, it's Thompson just laying it over. Thompson a little there conservative. I've seen once the riders get on their own and comfortable, they can really sky it way down that hill. This track has some tight areas, Brian, but also some really wide outdoor style turns. Here we go, on board with Frazier again. Look at the jump from Frazier, but there goes the number 17 to right, Pettis on the inside, and here comes the burrito. How about those Yamahas out of the hole? Frazier right in there, but it's the flying burrito challenging. In years past, we've seen riders slide out their high side at the front of the pack, and you got 39 guys from OED. 
down so happy they got through clean, but that is a high-speed start. These riders coming down one of these big hill traps into that Sox right-hander, heavy on the brakes. Remember we talked about in the opening? Oh! oh big contact on the inside for the gun Jeez. as he displaces Muffin Top. Oh, my goodness. But the elevation, Brian, in here is what's significant. And did you see the 50 of off coming down there, hit that breaking oh! ball, takes it back. <laughs> there will be no Christmas card exchange between these two young rivals, both on KTMs. Of course, Moffelmeyer in that redemption racing big steel box, GP Bikes KTM, and Cole Thompson, the number four red plate holder on that factory four parts Canada. Katoom. B, if I'm starting a, a motocross team in this country, I want these three guys on the team, <laughs> and I want Little Muff at the top of the box. I love that guy. He has been on fire this year. Muff and Byer so strong, and he's right up on right, trying to take that in inside. The CF Moto right-hander, and they dive down this big hill. It's a huge hook. Another step-down double oh. set up nicely here by right speed on the outside. This young kid is on fire. The 15 of Moffa Byer can't say enough about how amazing he's been riding this year. A few small little brain fades, a few tip overs, or he'd be way up in the points. Well, you take one look at the package that he's got going, and you know he's been eating his protein on the inside. Class. Here comes that Honda corner again. We have got some contact in this class, and how nice is it to see three Canadians battling up front. Fabulous. Yeah, and there's a lot of talent up here in this gene pool in the MX2. See coming out of that Honda turn, a lot of small little stones, even here. It's a little marbly over the chasm yes. and gets way on the inside muff. That is not the line of choice. Right is on the line of choice, but little muff just comes in and look at this wheel slide wow. just <laughs> looks up, almost clacks wheel to wheel. Right is on it, not giving up. I love the tenacity of both those young pilots, but it's Cole Thompson so poised on the motorcycle in that super trick looking zebra and orange. Gear coming in hot. Ooh, he's got he's to take a little break here, regroup. Now, we've seen a lot of action in this little switchback corner by the finish oh, line. Oh, look at that little cross up. Thompson goes inside over the finish oh. line, right scrubbed Ooh. to the opposite <laughs> side, the outside, and Thompson capitalized. Interesting pass. Thompson takes a look over, grabs Terror off, and just gets back to business. Dylan Wright is right there, though. What a pack of riders up front. Dakota Alex. Best seat in the house right now. Babs, as you say, the camera does not do the elevation justice on this track. At the bottom of the hill, seeing the boys launch down through this sand section into the Aturbys corner. Let's check back. I see Worth, and there's the number 20 of Jess Pettis. Pettis with a dynamite start, had some problems, and has kind of worked backwards. The 101 monster energy Kawasaki of Mark Worth just about to turn 18 years of age, nurtured through Team Green. This kid's got some potential. He's strong, he's brash, he can whip the motorcycle. He's having fun up here in Canada. Back to our lead package, the number 15, that's Sean Moffenbeier, Big Steel Box KTM, and then number four, the factory rider, that is Cole Tommy Gun Thompson, who has closed the gap here, Brian. This is interesting. Different parts of the racetrack throughout because Thompson doesn't want to be in that roost zone. He's taking insides and outsides. Line choice so important with lappers. Thompson kind of has to follow the main line. And here's a little bit of a crisscrosser into the Honda oh, corner. And a brake truck. Wow, beautiful work by Thompson. Just gently takes Moffenbeier to the edge of the track, parks him, and takes the lead. Point position. I hope he bought him dinner fast because that was very gentle. And let's face it, he used the Moffenbeier the buyer line to pass off and buy for crying out loud. Yeah, that's right. That's where Moff got right for the lead. And here it is. Comes right up the inside. Slows down. Look at the back brake. Locks right up. Yeah. Park. Oh. That's valet parking right there. That is a classic motocross pass. And yeah. think about it. The the three passes for the lead have been in that corner. It, it's amazing. I love to see Thompson get a little bit physical. He's such a polite rider. He's smooth. Never really in a lot of controversy. Keeps to himself both on and off the track here at the races, but get him in his own environment. A very outgoing, pleasant young man. Back to the battle for fifth place, the number 18 of Brad Nauta. That's the GDR Honda. And look at the Monster Energy Kawasaki of Worth making his old line on the inside. You want to talk about tractability on this track, Brian. And look oh! at him scrum off on the inside. <laughs> on that Marin step up, unbelievable. I love that part of the track, and that's a great point. Worth not using the berm. So much good roostable traction there on 
the insides. Look at the lead for Cole Thompson. Bob Ayrton has got some company coming on strong. Oh boy, what a race, what a track. Look at all the bumps out here. These riders are earning their keep in Quebec today. And you see all those white dots on the track, Ryan. We talked about how rocky this is, so yeah. Roost is just punishing out there. Oh, without question, a lot of these riders, you know, they're wearing a underneath their jersey kind of a bib protector to help protect from the roost. There is Dakota Alex all alone in fourth place. And then here comes the 101 of Worth. But I don't think Worth is going to have enough time before the white flag to make a move. Marky Worth completing that pass on Nottet for fifth place. Dakota Alex, you saw him getting his last lap flag in fourth. And three Canadians, one, two, three in this moto. Boy, I like that, especially with this partisan crowd. Those French Canadians, they like Canadians regardless. Yes, and their darling in the MX2 class, Kevin Benoit, has been pointed out into MX1. So they'll take any other Canadian rider to cheer for. And they have been pumping up our top three. And look at the 17 up right. Wow. Not giving up. That's what I love about this young rider, the tenacity. He's in shape. And he has the ability to handle these rough tracks and go with the bounces. He seems to hit the bumps, but just uses them to his advantage. And look at all that chop. That, folks at home, is much more difficult than it looks carrying this kind of speed on this kind of loose soil. And these riders just keep it to the bar pinned. Wright has matured incredibly this year. You can see it in his riding style. He doesn't get flustered. He just goes with it to the number four. Cole talks in the gun, gets the checkered flag, and wins the first MX2 moto. Buckenbeier then Wright. Welcome back to Motocross Alberton in round six of the 2016 Rockstar Energy Drink Motocross Nationals. Great crowd out here today as Rockstar L gets everybody fired up. Let's get to our top 10. First MX1 Moto, you know your top five. Let's get down to Worth, Nodded, Rosina, Gallup, and Freya. Get a bat. Number four, Cole Tommy Gun Thompson come out in the first moto, swinging from third to first. Cole, a good little battle there with a few riders and a great battle with Moffenbeier. Kept your head down, great win. Yeah, just uh, played it smart there. Uh, got Moffenbeier on like the, the first lap and then he got me back and just kind of waited to find a spot that I could pass and uh, executed it and then uh, took it home from there. A hard fought first moto for the likable young Canadian, number 17, Dylan Wright. Dylan, smile says it all. I know you want to be on the top of the box. You qualified second fast. A pretty amazing moto for you. Yeah, obviously, I finally got off to a great start, got a whole shot, and uh, my own Brown Motorsports motor was working good, that left tires were working up, and uh, yeah, yeah, Mop pulled me to a fantastic whole shot, just rode a little bit tight at the beginning of the moto, but uh, Sean and Cole got by me, but obviously I should put on a strong charge again, switch some lines up, but uh, hopefully next moto I can ride some better lines at the beginning of the moto, and uh, maybe end up in the top of the box, because that's where I want to be. Here we go, Premier Class at the gate, and there is the kingpin with the fastest qualifying time. That is Davey Milstap's factory KTM. You know, Fabs, the way that the track is setting up from the MX2 class started to get really rough and choppy. I don't think that these pilots saw that during qualifying, did they? No, the track's much smoother earlier in the day. There's Metcalf. Look at that vest he's wearing. That's a chill vest designed to keep his internal organs nice and cool. There's Cole Fassetti looking so clean, so good. The hometown darling and John Sebastian, team mentor and manager. There's Kevin Benoit getting his uh -oh, in a group. Michael Lessie going inside. Interesting for him. Let's go back to round five and go for Dunes for a little highlight package with Michael Lessie getting that first world distributing hole shot. But then it was Benoit and Millsap who were out front early. Benoit goes down. Gorky catches up and oh my! Oh, Millsap just adds another crack as he lands right on his posterior. Gorky takes the win in the first photo. Then we go back to the second moto hole shot. And of course, it's Alessi getting the triple crown. Here comes Benoit. He was one of the fastest riders Ooh. on the track. He slips out in that roller section. And then Gertman. Oh my goodness, was he fast. But here comes the plow job. <laughs> that was ugly. That happens a lot on this track when I practice here. A lot of those little face blasts. Many licks up the scraps for the win. Gotta love that. Benoit, though, with the fastest time of the moto. There's your top three from round five let's get to the points of course after five and ten thank you yamaha Millsap's commanding lead for crying out loud let's go down to six taps clayson's been amazing behind the tide riders benoit two dnf puts him back medallia has been on fire burger and methton dent all right with mx1 pilots coming out onto parade i love the way the rockstar girls are all shaped up with those boards this is going to be exciting tim trombley in the house this is the premier class this is why we came to Overton. 
Welcome back to Motocross Overton in round six of the 2016 Rockstar Energy Drink Motocross Nationals. There is the lovely Rockstar L and Mutt. Fabs, that was to you. That kiss was for you. Oh my, I can feel that deep within my heart of hearts, Travs. A very tender moment here in the booth with B and T as Kai gets that 30 board up. Ooh, that was a nice position. We all know Yamaha revs your heart, and that's who's bringing you this moto, but I think Kai uh, gets the RPMs up just a wee bit into the red line. You better believe it, Paul. Kingsley taking care of business out there on his perch as Kai goes to five. We settle back to the MX-1 pilots on the line, Brian. Focusing on the gate, Kai goes sideways. Let's get back to it. 40 MX-1 pilots, let's take this one in. Fasciati up the inside with a good jump. He's got that dual whole shot suspension device, both front and rear of the motorcycle lowered. But out front, look at that dynamic move for the number six. <laughs> big Steel Box Redemption rider, Kane Clayson. We saw him shine in Supercross, but it's the big man, the kingpin, M. Sops, quickly out front yet again. So the number six big steel box KTM of Kate Clayson with his first roll distributing hold of the season. A dynamite inside line and then the crossover. Wow, love to see Clayson up in front. But look at the number 11. Here comes Bill Sapp's teammate. This is Kevin Benoit, the darling of the Quebec province. 100%. Oh, boy, has he ever coming into his own in MX1. But look at Fat Yotes, triple S suspension, keeping his bike balanced as he jumps the chasm. Fat Yotes. Beautiful on the bike, and it's a bit of rivalry for top MX1 pilot now between Yotes and Benoit. A pair of Rockstar Yamahas coming out of that Honda corner, so they got a great start. Things pretty tight right now. Here's that Yamaha corner. Whoa. As we talked about before, Brian, I love how this track has really wide corners. It's very US like that. True that, true that, but check out our defending champion, number one, Matt Gurky, ultra aggressive right now, and his teammate Metcalf trying this, that, and the other thing to get up in the house. He's grilled, but Metcalf has amazing defense. Here's that start. Look at the six of Clayson come rallying through at top speed, has a peek over. He knows he's got that 300 bucks courtesy of Royal D. And then we talked about Millsaps carrying a lot of speed on that wide side. The big man's not gonna be denied, Brian, especially not down in that Rockstar corner. Bill Saps has just got an uncanny ability oh. to find first place. Look at him riding well oh. through these corners here. This is back to that start section at Benoit with speed through the break-in chop. Three KTMs out front. Talk about the orange brigade. They are smiling in Austria right now, I'm telling you. This place is motocross eye candy. I cannot get enough <laughs> of the extensions down from the elevation. It is absolutely beautiful with the number 19 of Morgan Berger sliding through the inside side of white to make a pass. Berger just slap chops his way through for 12th, but the battle for fourth is getting hot with these three riders. Fasciati in that beautiful Fox gear this year, just scrubbing nice. I love that single hipper we talked about in the open, but look at Medi over the chasm around the all balls right hander. He's aggressive and Gurky right in there to lap up any leftover sauce. It's, it's interesting to watch Metcalf on the bike right now because his oh! body language is so much different as we see Gurky go Ooh. inside. Here I am talking about Metcalf, and Gurky makes a pass, but oh, but Metcalf looks so much better on the bike later in the season. <laughs> Mehdi not happy with that at all. Who wants to be passed, let alone by the teammate? Here it comes right there. Outside becomes wow. inside, and Mehdi has to check up just slightly through the bolt. Motorcycle hardware, little dog leg there, and a lot of passes down in that bolt section year in, year out. One of the trappiest drop boys on the track after the finish line. The number six of Clayson is still in the mix. There's Fat Yotes, Gorky, and Metcalf, and then way up through here, Brian, and you gotta have a lot of stones to drop this one away. This is so steep, you can barely walk up and down this hill, and look wow. at them carry speed at the bottom. It's like a roller coaster ride. Clayson in third place, though, very impressive. Not even really being challenged by Fat Yodler just now. He's staying right with the 11 of Benoit. So Clayson, his girlfriend, is a physical trainer specializing in motocross. Clayson is ripped, and he has got a serious program happening, and he is improving dramatically this year. No question about it. His speed has increased at every single round oh. as he busts Bassiati out into the wide side. They're really coming. choppy through there as they come into the CF Moto corner. Oh. Oh, the other one gets his bar hung up oh. on the inside. Oh, 
Carlo just dusts that front wheel and tips it over, getting some debris out, keeps the engine running. They'll lose some key positions and some key real estate. It's a lot harder to pass those Yamahas than it looks. There's Fat Yost thinks, I got this, but good defense from Clayson. They're going two oh. bikes in the same hole. Clayson gets pumped out of the way, and the Yotes goes down. Ah, oh, come on, Colt, get her going, buddy. This kid needs a good result because his riding is not really indicative of where he is in the championship hunt. Clayson got really lucky there because he got busted out of that rut, but oh, he was yeah. able to manufacture that turn and keep <laughs> his momentum going. Back to the FXR downhill. Clayson looking really good right now in third place. But Gorky is on the inside, and that guy has got a handful of Rockstar throttle. Man, does he have a lot of power on that bike. You can see Metcalf completely opposite sides of this big, wide Overton track. Certain areas narrowed down, and then on the exit, it gets wide. It is Clayson that is on the hot seat right now with a pair of Rockstar Yamahas, and those bikes are super fast, sporting the Bondi engine. Look at the nice little whip for both the Yamahas. So Clayson showing some good defense. Get back to the number five of Tyler Medallia getting faster every weekend. He switched to the 450 now from the 350 as we head east, sitting in seven. Here comes our leader, the 118. That's Bud Fox looking really good, but you see how choppy it is down at the bottom of that Rockstar corner, Fox. Oh, in the lappers, things are happening. The Yamahas have caught up to Benoit now. So Kevin Benoit, look at the bumps and the chop and the lappers. This is a new section of the track that they added this year, Brian, where they don't go down in that little valley, and I really like the way that tabletop brings them back out into the start straight. Yeah, it slows them down a little bit, and they get into the lower gears, and then they got to accelerate for that tabletop. So only a little bit of a change there, but look at Benoit working through traffic. Wow. Look at the chop <laughs> and the roughness. Gurky way on the outskirts of the track. Cuts in nicely. Benoit. He needs eyes in the back of his head because Gurky is very wily back there. Well, Gurky's using all oh, of the track too, Brian. Is. Yeah, exactly. Lapper. And then cuts inside, but he was using the wide line and then cut inside, so all of the track, that's what you have to do. Benoit had to check up for that lapper. Gurky got lucky. He got in that lapper's line. He had a little bit more room, so what a chess match out here. Now, fifth place, Alessi has wow. got back on it and around Clayson on the outside, so that monster Alpine Stars rider working his way forward and what a multi-colored set of gear he's got out there pretty uh what do you call that pretty uh, much a collage of colors it's a collage of colors back to the number 11 and the number three oh, oh. and Metcalf goes inside on one of the roughest oh. parts of the track <laughs> Benoit retaliating oh I like that see Metcalf look over and put his foot out like hey buddy I got this don't even think about it don't even go there I love the way they sweep around that FXR Ooh. corner of the top to come down yeah. into the valley again absolutely gorgeous to the 118 of Millsaps in the lead. And here comes the number one of Matt Gurky keeping it close. The big man is going to have company because Gurky has reeled in a ton of crowd on Millsaps. Oh, 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 Newman. <laughs> so he just got Newman by Newman. <laughs> the number three of Brett Metcalf has closed the gap, and right now we have a battle for second, Brian. Wow, man, oh man, this is incredible. So Millsaps with a big lead. Gurky so tenacious. Oh, look like Medi was gonna sample there on the outside. Medi knows his spot to pass, he does the cut in. Here's that dump again. Millsaps coming down. Lapper on the inside. I don't think an issue right there. Yeah, well, oh, yeah. well the thing is, Newman checks up, but checks up too much. So Millsaps thinks that Newman's gonna keep going, but he's slowing down in his line. He gets all crossed up, mangied out there, and they're breaking, and this gets fully schmengied. Wow, to the number 800 of Mike Alessi getting his last lap flag. So big news in the first MX1 moto here, Babs. Alessi on fire in this moto from not the greatest start. Solid in fifth. Then it's Fat Yote settling for six after that tip over who had such a great start of the moto. But this man here, tenacious, holding his line, staying the course. Looks like a W for the one, but look at Medi. He's been challenging hard this whole last lap, but it looks like advantage Millsaps as the one of Gurky fist pumps through the Rockstar Energy Drink finishing line, and it is Millsaps second by half a wheel gallon effort by the Aussie Brett Metcalf. What a first MX1 moto here at Alton Fabs. Let's get to the Yamaha leaderboard top 10. Thanks, Tinas. How about Metcalf third, but we go down to Medallia eighth, a solid ride. Meston becoming a household name, and Morgan flipping on Dunn Burger 10th.
Picking up a little bit of the mud flaps. Garbage is the number one of Matt Gorky. Matt, you rode a great race, buddy. You got yourself in a second and hung in there, kept the gap close like the win. Thank you, yeah. I'm, I'm pumped on that win because last year this was my worst track. I struggled at it, so I knew all year I was thinking I want to be good at this one, and I didn't get the greatest start. I had to move through most of my competitors. Got to second, and then I closed the gap on Davey, and I was just putting in a charge, trying to catch him. I mean, he was riding good, and then he made a mistake, and then got the win, so I'm pumped. Our series points leader, the number 118 of Davey Millsaps, led the moto almost wire to wire, and then the corner before the finish, Davey. This track is tough. Took you prisoner there. Actually, uh, you know, Lapper kind of stopped in my way, and I didn't know where else to go, so I locked it up, but, uh, you know, kind of caught a little bit and went down, but all in all, it was, uh, Track. It was track was tough, and second mode, was you know, it's hard coming well, in yeah, and riding uh, it all during uh, the week. And, and, uh, spill gave you, you know, a little bit of fuel. And coming here and racing with these guys. There on the last lap, it came down to a good race and, uh, a bike lane. Really like charged. Amazing hole shot for Clayson, a good looking lad. If you like that sort of thing, MX2 racing next. This is the 2016 Rockstar Energy Drink Motocross Nationals. Mark Travers and Brian Coster in the booth as we get set for MX2 Moto2 with the lovely Rockstar L taking care of the board business. And here comes three girls out to Sir Paul Kingsley. And that looks like Rockstar Amber with the 30 board out. Check it. Check. There she is, Fabs. Well done. My, oh, my. I feel like I've just been tenderized looking at those three beauties. Sir Paul, the best seat in the house. This moto will be brought to you by Honda Ride Red. There's Kinger with the spy cam watch. As the Ember goes to five, we head back to the line. Second MX2 moto is pretty hot out here today, and the track is getting gnarly. Rockstar girls, a tight bashful getting off with Sir Paul. And the gate is down, Brian, coming to that first corner. It's a long uphill into the right hander. Who's going to get that roll to stripping hole? Shot. Looks like right now it is a KTM and the Yamaha's up front, but it is the 164 of Dakota Alex with that rather stripping hole shot. But look at Moff on the inside and the key players, the usual suspects up front. Look at the five back and then Pettis, six of our top young pros up front. Wow, Moff and Byron went inside and got the lead. And as they came up into the CF Moto corner, Dakota Alex went inside. Look how choppy it is down there. And right is the danger man in third place. Oh, oh. inside on Little Moff. What a sweet move. The adrenaline right now is at an all time high on these opening laps. And Wright just grabs a mid-full of YZ250F throttle. The Blue Crew Rider FXR gear quickly in a second over the chasm. But look who's falling. It's Little Muff. And there's the gun. The 101 of Marky Worth just taking a play on Thompson on the inside. I like Worth right now fighting hard for position. And you see how rocky it is down in that Honda corner. Very slippery, Brian. We've seen traction all over the place. But you have to make sure when you dive in. Absolutely, all those little stones. It's very marbly over there in the Cowie section, grabbing gears. We saw all kinds of passing here, gears pass as well. These young pilots not afraid to get in there and throw the elbows out to a replay of the start on board with Motovan Black Rider number 42, Sean Christoph Mulewald getting pulled pretty handsomely up there. That's what it's like to get a mediocre start in MX2. Wow, but Dakota Alex really hooked it in on that inside line. Wright was looking good for the triple crown, but Dakota Alex right now, privateer KTM, Fox Rider in the lead. There's Wright, there's Little Muff, and the gun in fourth place. Talk about pulling away. This four pack is just drifted out into no man's land compared to fifth place. We got a long time in real trials to get to our fifth place, man. But there's the number 18 of Brad, not a back to Davey Frazier. Two stroke looking good in the Husqvarna. Pettis and the 35 of Hayden Halstead. I love to see that third MX 101 rider up in the top 10. Halstead from Waterford, Ontario. Loves riding the sand, is fast at Gopher Dunes. And here, and here comes right on the outside. Oh! Take some high. Good defense from Dakota Alex. Look at the bikes working these rough bumps. But now it is Little Muff in trouble from number four. These two have been each other's grill every weekend, it seems, Traps. I am just so impressed with the number 17 of Dylan Wright. He really, as I said in the first moto, has matured, but his riding has gotten so much better. Here comes Thompson. A look on the inside as they come to the Marin step up. 
Hoffenbeier is strong, though, Brian. I love his defense. Yeah, 100% is strong. But oh. look at him, quick move. Oh. Shoves him out, but I like Muff back cutting on the inside over the chasm simultaneously. This is where Thompson passed Little Muff in that first moto. We know Muffenberger is fast through here, but Thompson, with so much patience, manages the position. Uh-oh, the number 20 of Jess Pettis has got an issue oh. down the bottom of that Rockstar corner. Oh. That's not good. Here comes right on the outside on that big downhill to the Woo. Dodge corner, and a lovely Lovely cutback from the 164 of the Dakota Alex. This kid is the real deal, Brian. He started at Gopher Dunes on the Eastern Swing, and he's been in the mix since the beginning. Yeah, in contact oh. with Joe. Oh, and he's down! Just goes down on his own accord. Right, lucky not to be falling, boys and girls at home. When you're trying to make a pass with a semi-equal rider, you do not want to be in those wheel tracks. Right could have been a victim of that tip over. Now right gracefully in first place. Right and Thompson picking up the Alex scraps as they drop out of that CF photo launcher down into the Rockstar corner. An absolutely gorgeous part of the track. The spectating here at Alberton is, well, it's a track in Quebec, so anything goes, but great visuals here, Fabs. Up the pro circuit launch. Sure, grabbing gears, fans everywhere here, coming out in droves, cheering on all Canadians and the Americans, boy. Millsap's got a good cheer there on the podium in that first moto, so very appreciative and passionate fans here in Quebec. They love that moto. Into the Honda corner. This one has been interesting all day long. Right, very smooth, carrying speed on the outside. Thompson looking pretty good right now. It looks to me like Thompson's looking for another. Oh, oh and he blows oh. off the oh, oh, whiskey throttle out into the grass. <laughs> My goodness, that was close. He just about lost his lunch. Thompson came in there in another gear, and now he is merging on the track. He's let those guys go. I think he should have merged on a little further to the corner, but he was going really slow. So anyway, Thompson has a scary moment. He almost bucked off. Here it is. Look at him dive in here from nowhere. Wow. He was making a move and gets in that oh. sauce oh. top and a little oh. wah, 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 and almost off. That's a full enduro ride out in the rhubarb. Oh, that was full single malt coming over top of that into that burn. But here comes the hand up. It's like he's waving to somebody. But you're right. He probably should have turned around and got back on the track earlier. Yeah, but he was going dead slow there, so he just wants to get on safely, and he does so. And now, regrouping and remounting that charge here as we get the last lap flag, Traz. This is going to be exciting. The MX2 class this year, Brian, has been anything but boring. There's been bar <laughs> banging. There's been some great passes to the Rockstar Lockoff camp as they drop down into the valley. Great images here, and look how rough and choppy it is. Under braking there, boy, you get bucked around. Remember last year, Fasciotti doubling some of those bumps? He was just phenomenal. But here, Cole Thompson avoiding the roost, going just outside of Wright's line, getting aggressive. He's making his moves. There's only half a lap to go. Look at Thompson jostling around. Suspension's getting hot. Oh. Fatigue seemingly not an issue oh. as these two push hard. Look at that scrum on the midair. Looks like Thompson's back wheel just Race the front of Wright's front end, and Wright's still on it. It ain't over yet. Fabs, there was some French kissing there going on between those two <laughs> tires for crying out loud. That was close, but you saw Wright swing wide. Thompson on the inside of that at Cherby's corner, and I think it was set up before that because of the Alex hit. He just gets on it early, and look at him right on that inside, a big plume of dust there in that oh. sauce up, and that's where the wheels kind of have a little tongue-to-tongue -to -tongue action in midair as you so eloquently referred to earlier here in French Canada. What a pass for the number four, Cole Thompson, who had that issue, went off track, got back on track, and then caught up the right and passed him on the last lap, arm in the air. There's been a lot of great battling in this class, Brian, but there's no question who the dominant rider is, the red-plated number four of the Tommy gun, Cole Thompson. Cernia, Ontario, KTM just pumped to have him, and I love the arm bumps for Thompson when he wins motos to the Yamaha leaderboard. These are the unofficial results. Alex Fourth, Nautic, Fraser, Solid, Halstead with a dynamic moto. Gallup, Hang and Tough, Love, Wes Rosina, and then Jess Pettis, 10th. It may be hard to keep this man off the podium. The number 17 of Dylan Wright leading the second moto. Had a great battle with uh, Cole Thompson. Dylan, I don't think I've ever seen you ride that fast before in my life. Yeah, I mean, obviously I got off to another great start and uh, just put my head down and uh, passed into the lead and just uh, rode as fast as I could. I mean, I was uh, battling with Cole pretty hard and then I, I hit a hay bale down at the bottom of the hill, kind of bumped me out of the line and then he got by me. But... I mean, it is what it is, and that's racing. Right, so we'll just keep uh, we we'll just keep working hard and, and work on getting quicker. Well and uh, hopefully, the weekends to come, I can uh, end up on the top of the box.
The Big Steel Box, number 15, KTM of Sean Moffenbauer, third place, second MX2 moto. A very fast race out there, Sean. Just not enough to get up with those guys after that little commotion that you guys had in the lead, but the four pack was running out there, weren't they? Yeah, I mean, we were pushing out there, we were going real fast, but I just made some small mistakes, it cost me, Cole got by me, and uh, you know, I just decided, you know, I was gonna regroup a little bit, catch my breath, and then put a charge in on the end. That's what I did, I couldn't catch those guys that got a little far away from me, but you know what, it was, it was a good day. Well, the gods have spoken, Cole Thompson was docked three positions for cutting the track, so Dylan Wright's gonna get the overall today, but here are the total points after six rounds, Thompson's still leading. He's got a huge gap on Moffenbeier. Looking good right now to get into the final round. So there are your top three. We got Dylan Wright, Little Muff, and Cole Thompson. MX1 Racing next. Welcome back to Motocross Alberton, just south of Drummondville, Quebec. This is the 2016 Rockstar Energy Drink Motocross Nationals. Mark Travers and Brian Coster in the booth as we get set for MX1 Moto2. Sir Paul Kingsley with that watch again. 30 board is up, Brian. This is the final mode of the day. This is the premier class. This second MX1 moto will be brought to you by Bolt Motorcycle Hardware. Got you noticing some of our big pilots, our big names lining up on the inside. Do you think gate pick matters as much with this huge uphill sweeper? Well, it kind of does, and it's to fly sideways all the key players on the inside because it sweeps to the right. But who knows? Whole shots can be taken anywhere. Medallion with some good hook up gets a good jump way on the inside gate pick. Gets pulled a little up the hill, but he's in a good position to salvage a good start. Big sweeping corner. Look at Benoit. Oh, he almost comes back into Metcalf. And the number three rock star Yamaha of Brett Metcalf will get the Royal Distributing hole shot. Man, that was close. Man, that was. All that dirt packed up under Benoit's wheels, close to a high side. Lucky for all those riders. And look at Kirk just jumping way down that hill in the second drop away. Two Rockstar Yamahas up front. That is the Blue Crew. Alessi with a great start in fourth, then Clayson. And a tepid start for the number 118 at Davey Millsap's interesting. Well, the Kingpin has already worked his way through to the lead group. Alessi right there. Clayson challenging Millie on the outside. That high line, three abreast. This will be cool because we haven't seen Millsaps make a lot of passes. Normally he makes one or two passes and in the lead, you know, second corner. So I'd like to see the line develop and see what sort of offense he has. There he goes. He gets by Clayson now challenging Alessi. We know that there is no love loss between these two. Oh, oh. totally stuffs himself. Wow, that's kind of the same situation Thompson had there almost over the high side of the bars for Millsaps. He had that big crash at the Dunes last weekend. He had that tip over in that first moto. On board with the big man, Tim Trombley, the snowcross champion. Right in that 450 Emma, gets a good start, gets pulled by Harville. Jeffrey there on the right, so a mediocre start. And look at the saucing, oh. and Benoit has a scary moment, and Alessi there just gets sauced up with Benoit's roost. Metcalf out with that horse of a Gherky, really lucky he didn't get gathered up by Ben White. Pair of Yamahas out front, the number three of Metcalf, then Gurky Benoit with a great start like he had in the other moto. Here comes Alessi, I like it. And the 118 to the flap. The CD sap's coming down that hill. It is chop, chop, chop. Oh man, a big aggressive outside move by Benoit. And now Saps has to regroup on the 800 of Mike Alessi. Alessi riding strong when he gets a start. He can really come to turn with that big Cowie. Oh, no! Phil Saps hits the Aturbis marker on the inside and goes down, Brian. Wow, he looked like he wanted that tough bullet inside. Oh, oh then he goes full giraffe getting back on the KTM. He's going to feel that later. Electric start coming into favor for Millie as he jumps on that and kind of <clears throat> nuggets himself on the remount. Yeah, fully missing the foot peg on the remount. Here it is again, inside line. That Aturbis marker, well, Ooh. you know, actually, he crossed over on the inside of the smaller Cherby's marker to hit the big one there. Yeah, he wanted to get that pass done, and he was in a good position. He gained in that breaking zone, and there he is, just kind of duffs the remount, gets regrouped. So uh, a couple spills here, both motos for Millsaps. Back to our lead package. Metcalf in the lead through that FXR downhill into the Rockstar corner. Look at the speed that Benoit is carrying. <laughs> oh, my, Brian. Memories of Jason Thomas coming down here from a few years ago when he wadded up large in that section. Benoit came in with so much speed, but then kind of lost it by getting all skewed up in those braking bumps. You can see how much slower Clayson's going. But look at the two of ah. Colton Bassiani <laughs> from a lukewarm start is working his way forward, gets by Clayson. That's the rider. He had contact with that, created his fall. 
in the first moto when he was passing for fourth. So now, all kinds of action on track with Millsaps. This is the cluster for eighth place. You got Tremblay, Bro, you got Medallia, and Millsaps. So, a very interesting combination. Ooh. Look at Millsaps carry speed on that high line, Brian. Oh my goodness, grabbing a handful of factory KTM throttle. Millsaps in another gear passes two riders in one turn, and did you just see him get on the gas? And that bike just accelerated. Uh oh, oh, right cross flag. Got to back it off. No jumping. Metcalf checked up. So did Gorky. Red Cross is off the track. Back to the battle for 13th. Messon on the inside. Does he have Harville? Yes, he does. Harville's been very interesting, Brian. I love to see him race in this series, and he's getting faster every weekend. Yeah, one of the lone Suzuki's, and look at Medi taking punishment down the hill, and he's got the Gerkman behind him, and here comes Benoit. This is no cakewalk for Metcalf out front. He knows those boys are there. When he gets up in the air, or even around a corner, has a glance over, and he sees these two speedsters coming on. He knows he cannot make a mistake. This is sixth place. Clayson, two KTMs, not teammates. Factory star Millsaps taking that wider line around that Cherby's marker that knocked him down a couple laps ago. I want to talk about how impressed I am with Kay Clayson on that Big Steel Box KTM this weekend. It's almost like a coming out party for crying out loud because he's really riding fast and aggressive and we haven't seen that from so far this season. His defense has been amazing. His offense has been right on point too. We got to remember he's riding against these big factory stars. Millsaps, Fasciati, Gurky, Metcalf, Alessi. He's right on point with these guys. Getting stronger every year. You gotta remember Clayson's still very young. Millsaps has got a good, wow. you know, seven, eight years on him. And look at the switch back. Oh. Millsaps can just fake a rider out. He is so tenacious. Such a beautiful rider. Millsaps, such command no. of that KTM. But I love the OC. He has the formula. This Ooh. guy won the second moto last weekend at the Dune. He's fast. He's fit. He loves these second motos. But Tremblay and Medallia having their own little war down into the Honda dropway. Medallia, nice pass on the big man. That was for eighth, Brian. So both of those riders looking pretty good in the top ten. Now back to Alessi and Fasciati. This is for fourth place. Fasciati's been fast today. I think if he hadn't gone down in that first moto, he probably would have been on the box. That's a great point. Out of that CF Moto dropway, they really go far. Look at Yotes with the aggression on the outside, but Alessi in a good spot to ram and block, but Alessi rolls it back a bit, riding very clean up here, Canada, up the pro circuit section. Down they go, up they go. Clayson hanging tough with Millie, though. Gotta like the tenacity of the youngster from Ohio, now living in South Carolina. GP Bikes helping out that Redemption T high on the outside. That was Millsap's line a couple laps ago. It sure was, and that tells you that Clayson's watching and learning, and that's exactly what young riders need to do, especially when you're following established Whoa. stars. How about passing established stars? Millsap's is definitely not in the game. The elbows are drooping a bit. He doesn't look like that normal self with his head and shoulders up in that attack position. So Clayson makes a move. Wow, his grandma back home who follows every race, she's gonna be freaking out. Look at the number three of Brett Metcalf. He is just attacking this track. He has opened up a huge gap on his teammate, the number one of Matt Gurky. So the Rockstar Yamahas are really putting it together today. Metcalf is just too fast for the field, man. It is rough, choppy, and that's when the Australian shines. There is Benoit, who's been gapped a little bit. Look at this part of the track. Still pushing in the winning stations of the moto. Feet on the page. Fat Yodler, fourth place. He has shined on this track before. And back to your comment, if he didn't go down in that first moto confrontation with Clayson, he could have got up on the box and got that elusive confidence. Yotes needs a win or even a second place, third place finish to keep his mindset in this. Absolutely gorgeous style for Metcalf as he's coming through that Honda section on his last lap to the number one of Matt Gerke. Wow, absolutely beautiful track. Great condition, super rough to the number six of Kate Clayson, who has been really impressive this weekend getting his last lap flag. See that little groove on the inside of that hipper that Clayson found? He has got eyes for the line, staying low right there. That is an awesome little find. Here comes Medi. He's signaling the fans. He knows it's his. Having a great old time. One turn to go, Travis. The OC, the Australian. He may have another shrimp on the barbie tonight. Look at the crazy fans here in Quebec lining the top of that burn before the finish line. This place is absolutely nuts as Metcalf comes across and gets the checkered flag and takes the second moto win. <laughs> Benoit, 
Oh, what a great vibe here in Quebec as Kevin Benoit comes up onto the stage with his dad. Everybody's here to see Benoit. Let's get to our Yamaha leaderboard. Second MX1, Moto Metcalf is your winner. Gorky Benoit, there's your top three. Bassiati in fourth, Alessi I like. Tyler Medellia strong, Millsaps all the way back to eighth. Trombley and Morgan Berger rounding out the top 10. Hey Fabs, take it. The number three rock star Yamaha, Brett Metcalf. Breaking out to a blistering hole shot, Brett. It was amazing on a real rough, choppy Overton racetrack. Yeah. It was key, you know, the, the rock star OTSFF Yamaha rocking it out. Thanks to Pirelli, uh, Bondi. Um, we got a we got a good package here today, and 3-1 on the day. I'm so happy to get that last right, moto well win, and just in a good rhythm, flowing well. Factory connection, suspension was unreal. So, um, you know, let's say the whole shot was key. Able to check out and uh, get out of this heat and humidity and uh, come out with a, a good overall finish. Gavin Benoit with a great start, almost that hole shot, rough track. Medi got the better of you there. You're going to be pretty happy with third with a home crowd. I know you just live about 30 minutes away, but you only get to ride this track once a year. So tell the fans at home how rough and gnarly it is out there. Uh, the track was really rough. Uh, it, it got really chopped out, like lots of square edge. And yeah, that, that moto, I, I lost my rear brake on third lap, and I was really like disappointed at first, but then I was like, got to put my head down and just try to ride as fast as I I can and we'll see where I end up and it worked out so good third place. Let's get to our points in the MX1 class after six of ten Millsaps leading right now only by 25. Over Gorky Metcalf coming in tight. Alessi fast out of your top five. Berger and Messin rounding out the top ten. Nice job on stage Travis. I see the dieting has been working. Remember to go to mxnationals.ca for all the straight goods and like the CMRC MX Facebook page. You have been watching the 2016 Rockstar Energy Drink Motocross National. Presented by Motovan.com, your source for power sports, parts, and accessories. For Mark Stalley Brass, Brian Coster, I'm Mark Travers. It's been a great day here in Quebec. We'll see you next week in Pleasant Valley for our first stop in 14 years.